Hello everybody, welcome to Country Bull Cook on Marshall today. I got one for you, you're gonna have to try. It's a fall thing, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how to make apple rings and my apple patties today on Country Bull Cook on Marshall. Let's get in here and get started, come on. And I've been so excited to show y'all this recipe. So let's get down into it. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna get right to the point. Y'all make these, they're so good. Come on down here. I'm starting out with two red delicious apples, everybody. Use the apple of your choice, but I like the bigger ones, you know. You want them to be big this way. First thing we're gonna do is chop these in a half inch sections. Let's do that. I'm not gonna peel these apples. Now, if you want yours peeled, go ahead. I'm gonna cut them in about half inch sections here. All right, we got them all chopped in about half inch sections. Now what I'm gonna do, you know, you can core these apples to start with everybody if you want to, but I don't do that. I'll go ahead and slice them and get anything, you know, about the size of a good quarter right there and just press the centers out. That's all you gotta do. See that? That's what you're looking for. I'm gonna do every one of these like that. And that's where we got them, see that? All the rings are cut out, a good quarter size inside of them. Now let me show you what to do next. All right, next in my bowl here, I've got four tablespoons of white sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and about a, about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. We're gonna dip each one of these in this. Let's do it. Just get them, dip both sides, knock the excess off. Dip, both sides, knock it off. Let's do all of them like this. And now, that's where we got them, see that? Now we're gonna set this aside. Hey, and by the way, don't worry about putting lemon juice and stuff on it. If they turn brown, it's okay. You're not gonna see it and it's not gonna hurt the taste at all. Let's set these aside. Here comes the fine part. Now I've got some puff pastry here. Let's lay it out. I don't got it laid out. I'm gonna use a pizza cutter. I'm gonna cut about half inch strips down through here. A good half inch. Let's roll it up. Y'all, this is so easy to be so good. Your family will absolutely love it. Like I say, I'm gonna show y'all two ways to do it. One way is apple ring, and the other way is my apple pie patty. Both of them taste the same, it's just different techniques. Let's get this cut out. All right, now we got them cut out. Watch how easy this is. We're gonna bring our apple rings back. We're going to peel one of these off. Now watch this. I'm going to peel it, and about half of it, I'm going to cut it right there because you ain't going to be able to handle that whole piece on these apples. I'm simply going to get it like this and thread that dough down through there. Now this right here is the harder way of doing it, y'all. I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. Make sure it's halfway distributed. You can leave little cracks in it. It don't matter. It's going to puff up. like that, put it down in there, wrap it around it. I like starting from underneath everybody and bring it over the top. It's a lot easier doing it like this. Okay, get another half. Looks like it's gonna take two strips for this. Y'all try this, it's easy. You wanna keep it pushed up in the center so you can get your dough down in there, see this? Thread it down in there. Okay, good enough. See, that's what it looks like. It don't matter if you have a little cracks. Remember, we're using puff pastry. It's going to puff out into that. So this right here is called the apple pie ring. I'm going to show you my apple pie patty. It's a lot easier than threading this through these holes. I'm going to be honest with you. 
And so for that, I'm just going to get one of these. I'm just going to put this dough on it like that. I'm going to start wrapping it around it. See this? Get another one. Continue wrapping. Okay, now we're done with that one. See, all I did was wrap it all over the apple like that. I didn't go through the hole. This is good enough. You can do it. It's a lot easier than threading it down that hole, but this hole one right here, it does make a beautiful presentation. All right, I'm going to do every one of these. I'm going to do half of them like this. I'm going to do half of them like that, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go, everybody. I wrapped them in a few different ways. Of course, right there's my apple pie patty where I've just went over all of it. And I'm showing you one here where you can skip spaces in it. Still good. All right, now let me show you what's next. All right, I got a baking pan here. I'm going to grease it right quick. All right, what I'm simply going to do now, everybody, is get them and put them over here on the racks. Get them over there. Then we're going to hit them with some melted butter. Get some butter and get it all over the tops of each one of them. Oh, my goodness. This right here really is coming together real good. Well, let your little kids or your grandkids help you make these. It's easy to make and they're absolutely fantastic. All right, enough butter. Now, one more time, we're going to come back with our cinnamon mixture. We're simply going to just sprinkle some of it over it, each one of them. I'll say probably about a half a teaspoon on each one of them is all you need. Oh, y'all see where this is going. <laughs> and next, we're going to stick this in the oven at 350 for around 15 minutes. 15, 16, 17 minutes at the most. It'll be ready. All right, there they are. They're ready to go into the oven. 350 for around 15, maybe 20 minutes. Let's go. Okay, everybody, it's been 20 minutes. Let's go get them. <laughs> oh, look at this, y'all. Listen, you talking about some good stuff. Look at that, y'all. We're not done yet, though. Get on back down here. Last thing we're going to do before we plate them up is put powdered sugar on top of them with a screen. I just sprinkle it over them. Look at this, everybody. Oh, my gosh. It's so easy. So, so easy. Now, you ain't got to do this, but hey, it's going to make it look pretty. Give it a little bit more sweetness. And just like that, they're done. Look at that, everybody. Oh, my goodness. The apples cook perfect. Look at that apple right there. I mean, they cook perfect in there to get a good bite of an apple. Whew. All right, let's plate this up. Let me show you some options here. What I'm fishing to show you is completely optional. Put what you want on it. But I'm going to tell you, you got to have that caramel. Oh, yes. Oh, y'all better not forget that vanilla ice cream. Oh, I almost forgot my caramel on my ice cream. Oh, here it is. I told y'all, it's absolutely fantastic. Look at that. You know you want some of that. Y'all give this recipe a try. I heard one of y'all scream in the background. Let's see what it looks like on the inside, Marshall. Okay. What's this? Here you go. Look at that goodness, everybody. The apple is perfectly cooked. Psst, we might as well do a taste test right quick. Okay, here we go. Look at that one more time. Let me get a close up. Oh my gosh, you got it all on this. Let's taste it. Mmm! My goodness alive. Like I posted the other day on Facebook, these are a 10, everybody. They're an absolute 10. They're so good. Now, mind you, you can peel your apples because you will be chewing apple peels. I just love apple peels myself. Let's go in one more time. Let's not forget about the ice cream. Two thumbs up. 
It's a 10, everybody. This is an absolute 10. Y'all give this a try. I want to thank you for watching me today on Country Boy Cook on Marshall. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube if that's where you're watching me. Or like and follow on Facebook. And by the way, make sure you comment, give me a thumbs up, a heart or something like that. That way you'll get my videos next time I upload them. I'm getting a lot of people saying I'm not getting your content. It's because you got to comment. When Facebook sees you comment, hey, they'll send you my notifications next time. Thank you for watching me. Jesus is always Lord in our house. Y'all try this. I promise you, you'll never, ever regret it. God bless all.